second main drain pipe. I have been getting water table water in my pool, gunite, and I thought it was a problem with the main drain. So I drained the pool and took the drain cover off to see a second pipe coming straight up from the ground with a cap on it that spins and moves freely, but I couldn't get it off. The cap has an H on it. Anyway, the water was coming from that pipe at a rate of about a gallon a minute. In addition, the top pipe is the main drain to the pump and the other one with H on it is unknown and water seeps out from under that loose cap. Um, so as an ancillary, I'm going to show this picture. Um, there's a couple things going on and clearly there's a round pipe with an H and then there is just a pipe in what looks to be loose ground, mm -hmm. not any kind of a pot. Okay, so what you have that H stands for Hayward because it's a Hayward hydrostat valve. So what that pipe is that comes up straight up is when they shot your pool, instead of having a plastic main drain pot that they shot into the pool, they just brought the plumbing into the side, the main drain line, and they ran a piece of pipe straight down, shot the entire pool out of concrete, and then carved that out and fit that frame in it. Very normal thing to see not so much on the bottom of a pool, but this is often done in the bottom of a spa. But what you're seeing with that thing that spins, that's called a hydrostat valve, and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So when you get a lot of water pressure building up underneath the pool, that valve pops up and it allow, allows water to flow into the pool. If it didn't do that, you would run the risk of it pushing the pool out of the ground, pushing, cracking, moving the pool. So that thing is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. If that's happening while the pool is full of water, chances are you're number one sitting in a really high water table, but chances are as the water table recedes and it gets towards summer, it's gonna start leaking out there because if water can come in there, it can go out there as well. So more than likely what you'll need to do is replace that hydrostat valve. Now, if this was done properly, which I'm hoping, I see that there's a hydrostat, that's a good thing. Uh, that should thread into a, a female receptacle under in, that's shot into the concrete. I would hope that they didn't somehow just try to glue it together somehow, because if they just tried to glue it together somehow, it's not gonna be an easy fix. But what you really do need to do is figure out how to loosen that fitting take it out and replace it with a new one. Because when you look at the fitting from the side, it's kind of tapered shape where there's threads in the bottom, two sets of threads, and then there's a cap that pulls up and you pull up on it. And from the underside, you'll see that there's a spring that pulls it back down. Well, there's a rubber gasket, a rubber O-ring. And oftentimes what happens is that pops up in the spring when there's lots of rain, lots of rain and, and things build up and it pops up to let some water into the pool so the pool doesn't pop out of the ground. But when it reseats itself, it doesn't set all the way down. And as the water, groundwater re recedes and starts drying out as the spring goes on, you'll start losing water through that. So I would say at this point, especially if it's empty, you don't want to leave this thing empty that long if you possibly can help it. That certainly is the fail safe, but that doesn't mean that's the only thing. It could still move if it was left like that for a long time.